Yo, it's Alan Young here. Actually, I should be a bit quiet. I'm doing a late night uh, video for you because a new feature has just come out of Commerce HQ and I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, run through and show you it. So there's a couple of things actually. So there is a new dashboard, which is pretty cool and I like it. So I want to show you that. And there's a new app that's just been added. And so that's another app that's been added, uh, you know, to Commerce HQ, which is all included in the price. Don't have to pay anything extra for the app. And that is going to be more coming. This is just one of these, uh, one app that's, you know, just come available today. And it, like I said, there's more to come. You know, they, they, they're not going to stop releasing apps as long as there's a need for the apps and a want for the apps. And they're going to improve uh, and it would improve the stores, you know, uh, conversion or, or ability to get better conversions, all that kind of stuff. Then they're going to keep coming so uh just another great thing with commerce hq so let's show the dashboard so this is the new dashboard so i love it it's really simple to use or simple to use simple to see all the stats so you get your revenue your orders visitors um this is just my old store how it hucks the i've talked about it in my other video so there's not really much going on but you can it's pretty cool so before you only had like up to three months you could see like uh you know uh one day one week one month and three months or, or something like that i can't remember exactly now but you can uh you know do a few things now so you can see the revenue you can see the orders the visitors you can go 24 hour one week three months or one month three months you can go custom so like if i want to check so let's go back and sort of when i started in this store was a say let's go january and i will put let's just go to sort of september so about eight months so you can go like that, see then it comes up, tells you the orders there, so it's 48,000, well, nearly 49,000 there, shows you in a graph, so you've got this you know, up and down, you can see the orders, sort of in line with that, the visitors, then you can change this, change the dates for that, so you can do loads of stuff, so it's really cool, you know, like it's nice and intuitive, I love the little funnel, it looks nice. You can you can check the products, go through the customers. This is just in the last month. I've only sold three things. Again, they just trickled in from SEO, so didn't really have to do anything for those sales. But it's a nice intuitive dashboard. I like it. It's a good move from Commerce HQ. But um, let's have a look at the new app. So there's a new app released today, and it is called the Product Customizer. So I haven't even used this app yet, and you're with me now live. I haven't done anything yet, so. From what I am aware, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. It's just an app that will allow you to add a customization. Say you've got a bracelet or, or some kind of product, and you want to put like an, you know, like some text or something on it that a customer wants, then you can add a customization to that. So let's just do that. So I'm not, I'm not going to set it up because I haven't got any products needing to do that. But on, so you can basically set up the customization name. So um, this could be like, I don't know. Uh, text text for bracelet I don't know this just uh, going with the flow here nothing to uh, not really thinking about too much so you could do that input label so you could just name the name the label so this could be like you know whatever you whatever the whatever the uh, you know the need is for the uh, customization you just type that in and that will be an option so say for instance on your product page you've got you know like the quantity and you click on it and then below it it'd be like customization so someone might put you know like mum or or like put like a name might be their brother or you might i don't, I don't know whatever it is you, you get the idea though so if you want some kind of customization you can do it now so that's an option so say you might be selling customization or rings or something and and you might want to you know engrave engrave like a name or, or some kind of like text onto it so you just add that and then that's an option to do it and you can add multiple options and then what you do is you add it to a product so you can click on that find the find the product so you just go down so you might not want to do this and obviously all your product pages because it's obviously be only uh, one thing so obviously these products aren't related to the type of product we would have engraving but you say that watch that might have I might offer engraving on it I'd click that and then on the um, on the uh, sales page then that custom text input option will be there on the sales page. So it's just a cool little app. So if you're doing custom engraving or custom anything where you need to have some kind of, uh, you know, text or anything like that, then that's a nice little app to do that. And that's just another one of the great little apps that come available with Commerce HQ. Um, you know, and there's more to come. There's definitely more to come as well. And, uh, and another thing that I'm looking forward to, like I've just been looking at... Um, I was looking at the themes earlier and basically if you click on build new theme 
you can see they've just started implementing this into uh, into the back end. So it's not ready yet, but it's, it's going to be ready now. Like this wasn't there a few days ago. So it's the visual builder. So you're going to actually, like I said, be able to customize your own theme or create a theme um, by doing that. So at the moment, you've got the Twig editor. So if you're into like the, doing the... Uh, uh, CMS or whatever you call it then you can uh, obviously do it that way by creating a theme that way but this here will be coming so you can see the visual builder coming soon so you'll be able to create your own themes create your own product pages do all that kind of stuff so you know this is great man if you've got Shopify Shopify am I calling it Shopify then if you've got Shopify and you want to move to Commerce HQ I wouldn't worry about it too much you can basically there's an app called uh, Cool, where is it? I don't know if I, I haven't installed it yet. So if I go to the app store, I'll tell you it is the product migrations or platform migration. So you can literally, if you've got a Shopify store and you want to uh, import your store over to Commerce HQ, you can literally do it with one click. It's that easy. So if you if you have got Shopify, you know that's an option if you want to do it. But if you haven't and you're still deciding which platform to go with. You know which one you need to go with. It's Commerce HQ, man. Get on it. It's, 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 uh, get on it early, man. Be one of the first early birders and uh, be one of the originals to get using it first, man, because this, this platform is, is going to kill it. So as you can just see, there's you know ha stuff happening all the time with Commerce HQ. There's loads to come and uh, you know it's an exciting time to get involved in this platform. So anyway, that was just a quick video just uh, showing you the dashboard, showing you that new app that's come about. Uh, and it also, if you if you want to get Commerce HQ and you want to get two extra free stores, I'll put a link in there uh, to go and do that. Or you can just get a 14-day free trial. But if you want to get the two free stores, you need to do it in a certain way. And I'll put a link to that video uh, if you want to check that out. But there you go, just a cool little video. Hopefully you can see a little bit more about Commerce HQ. And, uh, and I will see you soon. Until then.